Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck, always waiting for the end of the month for your next income? If so, you're not alone. Many people face this struggle every day, but it doesn't have to be this way. Financial management is key, and breaking free from this cycle comes with numerous benefits. Imagine a life where you're not constantly stressed about money. Wouldn't that be amazing? So let's tackle this issue head on. Stay tuned for 10 practical tips on how to stop living paycheck to paycheck. Welcome to Money Funnel. Our first tip is to create a budget. Now I know what you're thinking. Budgets are boring, right? Well, think of it this way. A budget is your financial GPS. It shows you where your money is going and it helps you steer your finances in the right direction. So how do you create a simple budget? First, list out all your income sources. This could be your paycheck, any side gigs or passive income. Next, jot down all your expenses. Don't leave anything out from your rent or mortgage to that daily cup of coffee. Once you have your income and expenses laid out, it's time to do some math. Subtract your expenses from your income. If you're in the red, it's time to cut back on some of those non-essential expenses. If you're in the black, that's great. You can start setting aside money for savings or investments. Remember, your budget is your financial roadmap. It's there to guide you, not restrict you. So embrace it, tweak it as necessary and watch your financial health improve over time. The second tip, cut down on unnecessary expenses. Picture your budget as a garden. Just like how we weed out unwanted plants, we need to weed out unnecessary expenses from our budget. It's time to take a magnifying glass to your spending habits. Eating out often, try cooking at home. You'll be surprised how much you can save, not to mention it's healthier too. Subscriptions piling up? Evaluate them. Cancel the ones you rarely use. Remember, small monthly savings can add up to a significant amount annually. Are you a shopaholic? Consider shopping during sales or at discount stores. You can still enjoy retail therapy without breaking the bank. Let's not forget, cutting down doesn't mean completely eliminating, it means making smart choices, prioritizing needs over wants, and finding cheaper alternatives. Remember, every dollar saved is a dollar earned. This is the essence of cutting down on expenses. Our third tip is to increase your income. A boost in your income can be a game changer in your financial journey. Now, how can you go about this? There are several ways and we'll explore a few of them. Firstly, consider getting a part-time job. This could be anything from waitressing at a local diner to tutoring students online. Even a few hours a week can make a significant difference in your monthly income. Next, have a look around your home. Do you have unused items gathering dust? Why not sell them? There are plenty of online platforms where you can turn your clutter into cash. Finally, consider freelancing. Do you have a skill that's in demand? It could be graphic design, writing, or even dog walking. There's a good chance you can find people willing to pay for your services. Remember, every dollar counts. A little extra income can go a long way. Tip four, build an emergency fund. It's like a sturdy lifeboat on the unpredictable sea of life. Here's why it's crucial. Imagine for a moment an unexpected car repair bill, a sudden job loss, or a hefty medical expense. Without an emergency fund, these unforeseen events can dig deep into your pockets and you might find yourself in a financial hole. So, how to start building one? First, determine how much you need. A common rule of thumb is to aim for three to six months worth of living expenses. But don't let that overwhelm you. Start small, aim for one month's expenses first, then slowly build up. Set aside a small amount from your paycheck every month, even if it's just $25. Over time, it adds up. Remember, your emergency fund is not for vacations or shopping sprees. It's for real emergencies only. Treat it like a safety deposit box, only to be opened in times of need. An emergency fund is your safety net. Our fifth tip, pay off your debt. Now this might seem like an uphill battle, but trust me, it's not as daunting as it seems. You just need a solid strategy, and there are a couple of popular ones to choose from. First off, we have the snowball method. This involves tackling your smallest debts first and gradually moving up to the larger ones. It's all about momentum. You'll feel a sense of achievement with each debt you knock off, which can be a great motivator. Then there's the avalanche method. This approach is all about tackling debts with the highest interest rates first, regardless of the amount owed. It's a bit more mathematical, but it can save you a lot in interest over time. Both methods have their merits, and the best one for you will depend on your personal circumstances and mindset. Remember, the goal is to become debt-free. Becoming debt-free is a major step towards financial freedom. Tip six, start saving. Yes, you heard it right. Saving can seem daunting, especially when you're living paycheck to paycheck, 
but it's not impossible. It's the little things that count. You don't need a huge income to start saving. You just need to start. Take a look at your daily habits. That morning coffee you buy on your way to work, or that lunch you get from the fancy restaurant around the corner, they all add up. Consider making your own coffee at home, packing your own lunch. You'd be surprised at how much you can save. Next, set a goal. It could be anything, from a vacation to a new car, or even just a safety net. Having a goal in mind gives you a reason to save, it makes it more real. Finally, automate your savings. Have a portion of your paycheck automatically transferred to your savings account. This way, you're saving without even thinking about it. Saving is the key to wealth creation. Our seventh tip, invest. Investing might sound like a complicated game reserved for Wall Street whizzes or the wealthy elite, but it's not. It's an essential tool that can help you grow your wealth over time, and it's accessible to everyone. Think of investing as planting a seed. You start with a small amount, but with time, patience, and the right care, your investment can grow into a sturdy tree, bearing fruits that you can enjoy in the future. Just like a gardener, you need to know when and where to plant your seeds. Learning about different investment options, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or real estate, will allow you to make informed decisions. Remember, investing isn't about getting rich quick. It's a long-term strategy to create wealth and secure your financial future. So, start small, learn as you go, and watch your money grow. Investing is not just for the rich, it's for everyone. Tip 8. Educate yourself. Ever heard the saying knowledge is power? Well, it couldn't be truer when it comes to managing your finances. Financial education is the cornerstone of financial stability. It's like a compass guiding you through the vast sea of personal finance. Now, you might be thinking, where do I start? Well, the good news is there are countless resources out there. From online courses, books, podcasts, to blogs, there's a wealth of information waiting for you. The internet is your oyster. Remember, understanding money isn't just about knowing how to save or invest, it's also about understanding how the financial world operates. It's about knowing your rights and responsibilities as a consumer. It's about planning for the future and making sound decisions that will benefit you in the long run. So take the reins, dive into the pool of knowledge and start learning. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your finances. Our ninth tip, build multiple streams of income. You might be wondering, why not just focus on one source and make it as big as possible? Well, the answer is simple, security. When you have multiple streams of income, you're not dependent on just one. If one stream dries up, you've got others to fall back on. It's like having a safety net for your finances. Now let's talk about how to create these streams. It doesn't have to be complicated. Do you have a hobby you're passionate about? Perhaps you could start a side business. Ever thought about investing in stocks or real estate? That could be another income stream. Maybe you've got skills that you could freelance with, or you could consider a part-time job. The possibilities are endless, really. Remember, the goal here isn't necessarily to get rich, but to create a financial buffer for yourself. As the old saying goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Our final tip, stay committed. Just like any other journey, the road to financial freedom isn't always smooth. There may be bumps and detours, but remember, it's the consistency that counts. Imagine your goals as the North Star, guiding you through the darkest of nights. Be steadfast, resilient, and never lose sight of your financial vision. The journey may be tough, but the rewards are worth it. Keep going, you're doing great. Remember, your financial future depends on your actions today. And that wraps up our 10 tips on how to stop living paycheck to paycheck. We've journeyed through creating a budget, cutting down on expenses, increasing income, building an emergency fund, paying off debt, starting to save, investing, educating yourself, building multiple income streams, and staying committed. The key is to take action. Every step, no matter how small, takes you closer to financial freedom. Remember, financial freedom is a journey, not a destination. It's time to take control of your finances and stop living paycheck to paycheck. If you liked this video, please help us grow this channel by subscribing now. Don't forget to hit that like and notification bell for more motivational and financial tip videos.